Hello, welcome back to Brand Sushi Life Noding. In this episode, we're going to take a look at this work by RWNY. It's basically this uh, swaying grass uh, created using Node 3, stretch of Node 3 in Blender. And the whole Node 3 is given uh, if you want to just build it from scratch. You can see it's kind of like a, something that's like a dynamics, maybe kind of like a turbulence that goes over uh, a line but it's actually really simple the secret is here you can build it from scratch and I'm gonna take you through how I look at this recipe cooking recipe and rebuild it so supposedly the secret is this line and noise displays and factor alert Factor Lerp is actually doing this kind of um, weight uh, transitions. It's actually very really interesting. It's actually let's so we just get started. I'm gonna plug in my mouse. Uh, so yep. we're gonna start with line. Okay. So by default, control click. We have this line that's growing in X. Let's grow it in Z axis. And this line we want to randomize here. Line is being randomized by this number. So it, we can actually make multiple lines, uh, each with different number of points. Yeah, so let's do that. So the idea is basically with the factor alerts thing. If we have line here, before I go with duplications, etc. I think this is what uh, what's what's happening. So we have original line and we have line that's being randomized and we lerp between the two but the lerp is being controlled by a number so the bottom part will not move but the top part will move okay so the lerp is being there's this factor that goes in this number and this one is also interesting that's the key so in this case we want to duplicate the line first using plane or this grid okay so matrix apply I'm gonna use this we have plane plug this matrix there and this vertices there and before we plug it into the lerp let's take a look at the result normally I'm not using matrix apply a better way is to use matrix this one the other matrix apply so this line and edges goes and the this plane goes into the matrices and as a result you have four different lines and we don't join it we keep them separate and we don't need the face so let's save this first sway line Alright, so the next things we want to do, we want to move the lines and we're gonna use noise displays for that. Okay, let's let's actually do that. So we have four different lines, we're gonna sway it.
and instead of randomize the seed, we're gonna move the matrix. So for this, we're gonna use vector in, and we can we can move it in x or in y or in the z axis. In this case, z axis is being used. So use a frame info math. Gonna multiply this frame, plug this into the z axis. File save. I usually save a lot just in case. So this plane now can be duplicated. Um, and we have swaying line, this may be too fast. Let's reduce the speed. Okay, so that's basically we have this animated line, right? So we need to use uh, the fractal alert now. Just this fractal alert. So we have the original lines and we have the the moving animated lines. And we can control. So that's the original line and this is the animated one. And again, the trick here is to use this number range. Cool, okay. Number range. And you want to get the total number of vertices of each line. So this length. Let's use the stethoscope. And that's uh, the wrong level. We need to go zero. Okay, nine. So we have nine. We actually have twenty. Uh, so maybe it's the wrong level. So this is the correct one. We haven't randomized the line. The so we want to now try to plug in this random number. So we have nine lines and we want to randomize the number of each line, the number of points of each line. And in order to do that, we, we pick this num. So this is, this is correct now. We can randomize the number of points, maybe between 5 and 12. So now, if we really take a look, we have the number of points here, thanks to list length. Okay, so list length level 1. This goes into the count. And we're gonna make a number between zero and one. Let's take a look. Okay, this is the number. And we just simply plug this into the fractal alert. Now we have a swaying grass. And let's play around with this scaling. So because the bottom part is no longer moving <clears throat> because of this uh, vector. We can adjust this actually. Uh, so that, that's, so that's basically it in a nutshell and then the next one is like cubic spline evaluate curve and plugging it into this beta this is a, I think this is the polyline viewer 
this is just to resemble the spline but normally I, I like to just to use a bevel bevel curve so from this curve I just bevel it using circle or okay, just use circle so hopefully we have something that we can render So that's basically it. The, the, if you want to, this is the output is a polygon. And so if you want a curve, like the, what is it called? Cubic spline and evaluate curve. Okay. Similar. Cubic spline and evaluate curve. Using this, you can actually resemble how many points you want it in the end. So this is also pretty useful. There. Oh, actually, that's interesting. Okay, let's let's turn off the join. So interesting. In this case. Okay, because I plug this from bevel curve, which is wrong. I need to plug it from here. Yeah. Okay, now, okay, now this is correct. So we have our wiggle, wiggling line. Um, at the end, you can use polyline viewer. Polyline viewer. And you're gonna get curve. Okay. And if you really, if you really want, um, so we can have output that's polygon. We can also have curve. We can actually have um, joints. I'm gonna show you a quick trick. So here, instead of beveling the curve, we can we can undo that. Simply plug this fractal lerp into UV, or you can use UV. I think UV will work. UV connections. So all these points goes there. So we're gonna have vertices and edges. All right, so we got it. And you can actually merge it. Skin modifier. And then mark root. And after you do that, create armature you're gonna have bones and all you need to do is to transfer the rotations of each points tangent into the bones so you can have an animated bones if you actually use skin measure it's actually kind of doing the same thing although it's not still no longer a, a bone and it's kind of twisted and stuff. <laughs> Very interesting. It's almost like swaying sausage. But anyway, it's a. It seems complex, but uh, you know, this recipe will teach you a lot about sphere chocks. Um, I think it's really good in sample. Uh, thanks to Rennie, Rennie to show this example and you can actually use this to create this kind of effects it's all procedural it's, there's no turbulence 
it's not a hair simulation. Um, yeah, but it's very interesting. And if you look through a pulse by Ronnie, uh, you, you have a lot of example there to go through. It's almost like a, kind of like a chapter in a book. So yeah, whenever there's uh, someone who posted this on a blog or on Twitter, take a look, have a study, try to remake it yourself, make modifications, maybe you're gonna have something new. So maybe instead of using plane, you can use other thing, circle. Very good example. I really like it. And if you understand what's going on, and then it's gonna have a lot of fun. There we go. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.